Hey, hey, Wild West Adventures! Travel back in time with us as we interview a Union soldier and a Confederate soldier and witness the Battle of Val Verde. Special thanks to the 1st Texas Light Artillery Edgar's Battery and the Arizona Civil War Council. Pioneer Living History Museum. They have reenacted the westernmost battle of the Civil War. So as you can see, there are both Confederate and U.S. forces across the battlefield. That battle took place on Picacho Peak which is south of here, but they do the reenactment here because of all the open space available. I'm going to take you back now to February 21st, 1862. This was the date when Confederate troops, led by General Henry Hopkins Sibley, advanced on Union troops at Fort Craig in New Mexico Territory. Claiming New Mexico Territory, which at this time included Arizona and New Mexico, would have been a big win for the Confederacy because the proceeds from the many mines in the territory would help to fill the Confederate's coffers, which were already depleted by the war. As the Confederate Army encroached on Fort Craig, a small Union detachment led by Colonel Edward R. S. Canby took the Confederates by surprise and broke their advance on the fort. The Union Army had almost rerouted the Confederates when more soldiers arrived and launched a counterattack. And so began the first major engagement of the Civil War in the Far West. In the end, the Battle of Valverde claimed 99 lives and didn't really accomplish much. A few weeks later, the Confederates claimed Albuquerque and Santa Fe, but their advancement was stopped at the Battle of Glorieta Pass on March 28th 1862. What's the name of the group? We are the First Texas Light Artillery. Edgar's Brigade, uh, Edgar's uh, Battery. We portray the unit from San Antonio. When the Federals retreated out of uh, the Alamo in San Antonio, we, the civilians took over and created the Alamo City Guards. That's who we portray. Okay. It's an actual unit in the Civil War. And they took over the armory and started their own artillery unit. Now, we portrayed that unit, mm -hmm. but we also portrayed the 3rd U.S. We're oh. a very large artillery group, and since the Union do not have, do not have artillery, mm -hmm. we do the 3rd U.S. as well. Okay, okay. I'm dressed in a half-match civilian and military uniform. The South got what they, what they could get. Now, mind you, I have a military jacket, but my pants and my boots are civilian. My hat is good. Okay. But now I put acorns on it and cross cannons. So we do a mismatch match of military and civilian wear. Okay. We're a volunteer unit. I see. Now this piece right here is a Williams rapid fire gun. It's a Confederate secret weapon. And that's loaded from the back and not from the front like a regular muzzle. Load. This gun with a good crew can average about 30 rounds a minute. Now, with an original muzzle loader gun, it'd be three rounds a minute. Okay. We have two Facebook uh, page groups. We have First Texas Light Artillery, Eggers Battery, and Third US. But we also have a website, ArizonaArtillery.net. Excellent. about your 
your organization? Okay, we are uh, Civil War reenactors, and our organization is the Arizona Civil War Council, Incorporated, and we have been uh, in existence here in Arizona since about 1975. We were incorporated in 86, so we have been actively reenacting here since at least 1986. Okay. And we also go back to the East Coast for major events. Oh, nice. So is this a particular battle that you're reenacting today? It is uh, a Southwest battle. We used to do an actual Picacho Peak battle. This was a battle, in, an actual battle in Arizona. Oh. And we used to do that for a state event, but then the state had problems, so we are now trying to, as a reenactment group, we are trying to go ahead and do this here. So uh, this would be a battle that would be representation of uh, New Mexico. There'll be two battles. There'll be three battles today. Two of them will be from New Mexico, and one of them will be the actual battle of Picacho Pass. Okay, excellent. What time is the Picacho Pass? Picacho Pass should be at 1.30. Okay. That will be mostly uh, uh, cavalry, which are actually Army troops mm -hmm. coming up from uh, Fort Huachuca, uh, horseback, and then there will be 12 uh, Confederates. Okay. Uh, so the Union will only be uh, cavalry. Okay. Now, the two right. battles, uh, earlier, one, the first one is at 11.30, that will be the Battle of Val Verde in Mexico, and then the second one will be Glorieta Pass, and they will be between the infantry, so you'll see large uh, men on field, and you'll also be having a uh, cannon engagement. So oh, excellent. We'll have both cannons and artillery, and a little bit of cavalry mixed in. Okay, and what time does that start, the first one? The first one's at 11.30, the second one is at 3 o'clock. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
Of the 3,100 Union troops engaged in the Battle of Valverde, 68 were killed, 160 were wounded, and 35 went missing. Of the 2,600 Confederate soldiers, 31 were killed, 154 were wounded, and one went missing, making this quite a bloody battle for such a short time period. Thank you for watching our adventure at the Civil War reenactment at the Arizona Pioneer Living History Museum. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Wild West Adventures.